Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can get list of all the flows which are present in your environment and number of actions used in each of those flows. Now, this is really an important admin activity uh, considering the limitation of usage, whatever license you have assigned. For each license, there is of course limitation if it is E3, E5, or you have per user license for flow, per user license for power apps. Each of them have certain limitations on how many times or how many flow runs can be done, how many actions can be executed per user per 24 hours or per month, let's say. So looking at that perspective, this would be a really uh, important action to look at how many flows are there in the environment, how many actions are there in each of the flow which flows are running, which flows are stopped, which are not being used. So we'll understand how we can get uh, all the list of flows and their number of actions and also the state of it. So we will be, we'll be creating another flow to get all this data. Of course, we'll be using the flow connectors, we'll be making use of flow. And there are some uh, connectors available, which is to manage your flows. So two of them are like Power Automate Management and the other one is Power Automate for Admins. And there are certain actions available in this. You can get the flow, create the flow, delete the flow. You can get list of flows. Uh, as admin, you can get list of flows which you have created in the environment. You can also get the list of connections, the connections which you have created. You can stop the flow, run, uh, turn on the flow, switch off the flow, turn off the flow. So all these things are there, all these actions are available. We'll be making use of one of the action from this list only to get all the list of flows. So I'll just switch to the, to the test flow, which I have already created. I'll just run it for now. I'll show you how the response uh, we get. I have got the response uh, from the actions and I have sent it uh, as a table to, uh, as an email to myself, let's say. So I've just ran this flow and we'll see okay, we, the email is already there so you can see that uh, these are the flows in my environment almost eight to nine flows are there and the number of actions in each of the flow and their status if those are started or stopped so if i take you to the flow portal and if you go and see how many flows are there so you can see there are almost nine flows are there and one of the flow is stopped. You can see that this is disabled, the last one. So doc approval flow one is stopped. That's the one which is stopped here. So that that's how we'll be able to get the list of flows, number of actions and their current uh, state. Now let's get into the detail how we got it, what actions we used it, and how we send the data back uh, as, a, a tabular, as a tabular format in an email. So let me just quickly create a separate flow. We'll create a flow, let's say, and create list of flows. Okay, so now you have to find the connector Power Automate for admin. So you have to type full actually to look, search for it. So you can see it here, Power Automate for admins and there are these actions available. So either you can disable a flow, enable the flow, and edit the flow, get flow, remove also flow. You can remove the flow also. You can del delete the flows from the environment. This is the one connector available, uh, Power Automate for admin. Then there is one more. Let me just Power Automate management it's here now in this uh, connector you can see there are so many actions available again which you can make use of create flow delete flow get connector get flow get flow as admin now what the one which will be using here will be list flows as admin list flows as admin there is also list my flows which will give you list your own flows where you which you have created in the given environment. We'll be making use of list flows as admin. And what you need to do is just select the environment. Uh, 
from which you want to get all the list of flows and yeah this action will give you let's just save this and let's just test it how this action gives us the response just run it and okay now you can see this we'll just put it in a notepad scroll up okay so you can see that we have got okay this this we have got the arrays of the information for each of the flow now this is the first uh, instance what we are looking at where we are getting all this information like name id type properties are there in that we have definition summary and in the definition summary there are also actions so you will get the list of actions as well in this uh, json what actions are being used in the flow and yeah this is the information we are getting here you can see there is a display name and state so we'll be making use of these properties to generate our own table and send it as a notification email notification so we'll be reading display name which will give you the display name of the flow we'll be reading the state where it will tell us whether it is running or stopped and we'll be counting the number of actions in the flow through this data so we'll get this data and we'll just count a uh, number of actions in this flow so that's how will be uh, the information you will get it and we'll just now parse this information and we'll try to read it let's just edit the flow and uh, just use another action create html table and here we'll just pass so you can see it here you can you can read all these properties from the response of previous action now we'll be looking at the value so this will give us the all list of flows now we'll add the columns whatever columns you want let's just make it custom we need the first one would be the flow name then we have uh, the state and number of actions now the flow name you can just get it straightforward flow display name you just select this the next one would be the state that is also available here flow state just select it flow state and now then for the number of actions you can look for action is there actions property there is actions property but we want count of it so what we'll do let's just type something here go back and okay it's not appearing let's do one thing let's just go back here and type actions here what we'll do we'll just copy this expression I'll just inspect it that that's the way I use it usually you have to inspect it and you can get the expressions just copy this expression remove this go to the expression use function called length this will give us the count of the the records uh, in this array so now this expression which is actions will give us the array of the actions and we want the count of it so i've used length function and what we have passed here is the actions expression i have added it here so let's just click on okay so what it is length and then the actions expression so this will give us the number of actions in this flow now we have our html table ready now let's just send this table as an email send an email I'll just send it to myself for now and list of flows in our in default environment we'll just pass the output of the create HTML table action well let's just save it and test it
Okay, so already run and we have got the email. So let's just see. Okay, now you can see that we already got the list of flows, flow name, state, and number of actions. Uh, of course, the formatting is not correct. I mean, we'll just add some CSS into it. So to add that CSS, what you can do is just edit the flow. And here in this body, you can just add some CSS over here. So what you can do is just CSS, HTML table, just Google it. We'll go to the W3 schools. And here, let's say, just try it yourself. Just copy this particular CSS, you will find it here. You can find this style here. And put it in your email body. So in the flow, you just go back to the flow. Just put that CSS over here. Now before putting this CSS, CSS over there, let's just let me add style tag. We don't need this. Uh, we don't have a table with this ID. So I'll just directly add the table tag here. And we'll remove this. We don't need this specific uh, tag ID. We don't need it. We don't have it with, in our uh, email body. So I'll just remove this. And that's it. Let's say I'll just copy this and put it here. Okay, let's just save it and run it again. It should be here. Okay, something went wrong. Let's just go back to the flow. Okay, let's just edit it. And here you can find it. Okay. Actually, I've added it in a design mode. Let's just change it to code mode. And we'll put the style over here. Okay. Now we have the style sheet, whatever classes you want to apply for the table. And we have the table added over here from the previous action. This should work. Let's just save it and test it again. Okay, yes, it's there, but still the formatting is not there. Let me just check it one more time. Okay, let's just edit the flow and check again. Okay, the style sheet looks fine here. And let me just see. Style, we have closed the tag. Okay, should be fine. Let's just save it and test it again. Okay, this is fine now. So the style sheet has been applied and we have got the list of flows with the state and number of actions in it. So if you just check one of it, let, let me just show you. Let's just take example of uh, document approval flow 2 and it is started and the number of actions in it are 7. So if I just take, just go to the doc approval flow 2 and let's just edit the flow. You can see that there are the actions which are there, the number of actions one, this is two, three, four, five, six, and this scope itself will be considered as a separate action. So we have seven actions excluding the trigger. So the trigger won't be considered in that list. If you want to consider the trigger also, you just need to add plus one into whatever length or the count you are getting uh, in here. So you just need to add uh, one into it. So you'll get the list of triggers because the triggers Execution is also considered in the 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 count, which is considered for the licensing capacity. Okay, so I think yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to share. You can get the list of flows using list flow flows as admin action, and uh, you can get the information about the flow the name, properties, number of actions, even the number of actual actions information also you can get it from, from this action. Let's switch back to the presentation. 
yeah so that's what we did we got the list of flows uh, we iterated we just directly used the create html table action and we added the style sheet and send it uh, as an email yeah that's it in this video uh, i hope this will help you guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video soon